Hey, Bob WP here, and welcome to WordPress Event Talk, a Do The Woo podcast show. Well, we are here to talk about a very exciting event. It's exciting because I'm going to be there. No, not really. It's not. That, that's not why it's exciting. It's exciting because actually I attended WordCamp Asia last year for the first one. And as many WordCamps as I've ever attended over 14 years, I'm going to say this and don't anybody frown upon me. It was probably one of the best word camps I'd ever been to. Woo-hoo! And it just had a different flavor. I just, I just absolutely enjoyed it. And so looking forward to it. So I'm going to quit blabbing though and have my wonderful co host, Devin, say hello and also introduce our guests, which are very special. Thanks, Bob. Hi, everyone. As Bob mentioned, the wonderful host, co host is here, Devin's. Live from Jakarta. Well, not really live, but I kind of want to feel it's live because so excited to be with Bob again. And there's my lovely, um, I want to say ex-teammates, but I guess with the community team, we are always a team, right? Um, And we are always community leaders who support each other. So yeah, um, I have Andy and um, Eric here um, with us. So I guess I'll let you all introduce yourself, please. Perhaps starting with Andy. Hey, everyone. So Andy here, one of the uh, global leads uh, for the WordCamp Asia 2024. Uh, it's good to be here and having a chat with everyone about the exciting events that we are coming up. Yay. Thanks, Andy. And next, Eric. Okay. Hello. Everyone, I'm Eric from the lo- uh, one of the local leads of Working Asia 2024. And as a local lead, um, we're we're so excited to welcome all of you coming here, and we can't wait to see you in person. Yes, these lovely folks. Um, I can tell you they're really excited since we started WordCamp Asia back in 2020 and then we had the first one in 2023 when Bob attended and had a fantastic time and we're going to recreate that fantastic time in Taipei. Um, So yeah, it's been a while, Andy and Eric. How's everything? Um, How's the planning going? Um, What are we expecting in the last couple of months? Is there anything that we need to be prepared? Let us know. Uh, Yeah, so the events happens on 7th of March. Have everyone get the tickets already? If not, yes. Of course. If not, there are still tickets available. Just go to the (laughs) website and the Asia at workcamps.org slash 2024 to get the tickets. So we can see you there. All right. So yeah, I've got my tickets, I've got my accommodation book, I've got my um, visa secured. So what else? What else do you want to share with us? Um, what, can we ex- what can we expect from WordCamp Asia in, in Taipei? Um, is, would there be any differences, like main differences from the one we had in Bangkok? Yeah, so this year uh, we have a special kind of uh, arrangement for in terms of the sessions. So it came up with an idea that... Uh, we- uh, invited speakers. So among those that we already announced, uh, Matt is coming. Joseph Jacks, uh, the founder from the OSS Capital, is uh, confirmed they also will be coming. So the other two that also will be joining us on the stage is uh, Noya Talk from the Human Made. Then uh, everyone we know that the executive director of WordPress, Josepha, will also be joining us. Something that um, I really wanted to to be because in Bangkok, I was busy um, at the back end. I couldn't go to any of the session. And then this time in Taipei, I really want to check out one of the invited speaker session and also other sessions. Um, is there anything else different? Is there any workshop or any panel discussion that we are expecting in Taipei? Yes, um, there will be a couple of workshops so so that people can people can join. And we're also having a family friendly room this time so that if uh if parents yeah if parents bring their children um they will be able to be in a uh, family friendly room and uh during the conference days so this is different from child care um we yeah we're not going to hire child care we're just 
having that uh, place, uh, we're, we're just going to have that room be uh, children friendly and dedicated space. Yeah, yeah, and we, we and we still uh, we are still going to have a volunteer there to uh, to watch everything, but it's not a professional child care center. So if somebody um, thought Bob needed a timeout. <laughs> And they wanted to put him somewhere. They could bring him over there to, and put him in a corner with some toys and just kind of leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so because it's not a professional child care center, so we still recommend the parents being with their being with with their children. But we we are going to prepare some some toys so that they can play with. Nice. All right. Well, that's good to know that something different um, from um, Bangkok because we didn't provide childcare in Bangkok. But now we learn, we improve, um, we do things better. Great job, everyone. Nice to hear. Not that I have kids that I will bring, but I'm considering taking my cats. Or probably not. Bob and I here are parents. um, And (laughs) of course, we'd like to have our for babies everywhere with us, right, Bob? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else? Okay, I have I have a question. Okay, everybody that goes to any word camp, all they talk about not everybody, but it's always about food. So I have to personally ask um, both of you, what is your recommended dish? I mean, this is personal. This is what you really, you know, would recommend. For someone to try while they're there, okay. Because I'm not local, locals, <laughs> I'm considered as kind of like a tourist visitor to the country. So uh, the night markets, you, know, you should uh, typically have all the uh, delicious food. So the two things that every time I went there, uh, I will have is the uh, fried chickens, yeah, and the boba tea. So th- these two are very famous. That it's a must that we have to have it. But what's the difference uh, between the fried chicken in Taipei and the other fried chicken we have? Uh, it's local made. Then they I mean the the what do you call it, the ingredients they they have it. The taste is very different. Although that uh, in Malaysia that where I see, though they uh, advertise it is a uh, from originally from Taiwan, but you eat it, the taste is very different. <laughs> it's just like when you have the uh, what do you call the nasi padang. Right. In Malaysia and the one heavy locally in Indonesia. It just tastes better when it's like sourced locally, um, <laughs> you know, made locally and eaten locally, right? So you have to be in Taipei <laughs> to to try this boba tea and the fried chicken. That's Andy's recommendation. What about you, Eric? Um, so as a local, um, I personally i'm a soup noodle person so i would recommend beef noodles Yum. yeah we have a lot of a lot of good beef noodles and um i think we also have a lot of local like restaurants which offers different kind of stuff and it's called um i'm not sure whether i should just use mandarin it's called real chow, which means uh fried stir frying places yeah I, the, it's the place we brought you we brought Devin and Andy before. That's right, right. Fried, stir fried stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because the atmosphere there is super good, and it's it's a best place to uh, to have good time with your friends. Yeah. No, I wanted to add if um, I'm not also local, but I hang out with these folks um, in Taipei, um, and I enjoyed the sweet potato ball. So it's it's fried. Uh, remember, we were waiting for the, the vendor yeah, to yes, come back because yeah. I really yes. wanted to have that, <laughs> yeah. that sweet potato bowls. So it's uh, the, the um, purple sweet potato and then also the orange sweet potato. And they're so yummy and they're so chewy. Uh, it's hot. It's like just, just but it's really uh, nice um, when you, when you um, have it in your mouth. Um, so yeah, I always go for it. Uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, it's something fried. Yeah. Uh, it's hot and it's chewy. <laughs> so I can't wait to have that. Yeah. So speaking of that chewy, speaking of that chewy texture, there's a dedicated phrase in Taiwan. It's called Q. The the yeah, it's Q. Q. The the alphabet Q. Q. Yeah, the alphabet Q. Ah. 
Ah, that texture, that. we call it Q. Yeah. So if you say, I want something Q, Q, we want something Q, and they will give you something chewy. Yeah. Today I learned. All right. Okay. So yeah. for those of you who like something chewy, then just ask for anything Q. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. do that. I want Q. I want Q. <laughs> yeah. All right. The other things that we can brought up is uh, this year because it's a it's a the events happens in the TICC areas, the convention hall. So we also managed to secure a place, a media rooms that is uh, dedicated that we can have partners like media partners like Bob here to the rules too. If there's any interview sessions we want to carry out, we can do it over there. Yeah, I think back in Bangkok we don't have that the the luxury of the- they have like um professional green screens there and yeah a lot of like uh, equipment we can use all right do we have to secure like media partners have to secure for the slot use for using that room yeah um if you want to secure the room the time slots um you can con- you can contact our communication team yeah we will reserve that we will reserve the place for you All right, nice, nice, nice. All right, let's talk about the contributor day because I've received several um, emails about um, securing uh, the attendance or registering. Um, what can we expect? Is there anything new? How many teams are going to be there? Do you have any information about this? Fourteen, one four, one four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Great. And this year, I think we also will be doing the other one special, the human library projects. So we'll have a separate tables just for that. So it's like 15 minutes of sessions. But we are still, I mean, the contributor team still trying to engage the books uh, to come over so that we can confirm the slots for everyone to make reservations. We didn't have that, right? Uh, we in Bangkok? Human no. library. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Right. Is that is that something like happiness bar where people can go and ask um, questions? So, to, so happiness bar. We also have a dedicated place within the sponsor areas that we try to uh, gel it together with the uh, communities uh, 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 sessions. So uh, there's a place over there. So the human library is more towards the. It happens on the uh, contributor day itself. Okay. Five, four to five tables separate, just uh, dedicated for that sessions. Oh, excited. Anything else? Um, I think I remember in Bangkok, we have this um, battery pack charger. Do we have anything like that? Something like the attendees can use for free? So we are, yeah, we are still um, managing the charging stations from uh for our attendees to use and i think uh, these will be these will be sponsored by our sponsors yeah these uh, charging charging stations yeah that's a good approach um that's a one way to engage sponsors in a different way um that they can contribute in a different form as well i like that yeah yes yeah, but as but the sponsors speaking of sponsors i'm, I'm kind of curious because that's I'm I'm actually a sponsor this year for the first time, so um, mm-hmm. so you're yeah, sponsoring, yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm a little sponsor, <laughs> but anything about the sponsor area uh, that you want to bring up? Anything uh, special this year? You know the the setup of it. Um, I I I notice that you know whether it stays this way. I'm strategically placed across from Wu which is very nice for me because uh, for obvious reasons. But um, yeah, is there anything you want to add about that? I, I know that as a sponsor, just what you were mentioning, it was very cool because you had several add-ons and some of them were very creative instead of just the typical, you know, you sponsor the coffee or something like that. So um, yeah, just tell us anything around that particular part that you might um, want to share. Yeah, so the sponsors area, I think back in Bangkok, we have, uh, because of also the place in the uh, Siam Icon, so every, all the sponsors are get joined together in one place. So this year, because of the TSCC area, we also learned from the uh, 2023 Bangkok, we kind of like uh, separate the sponsors to two areas, the first floor and the second floor. So that uh, the idea is mainly is to uh, trigger the traffic to uh, uh, for the attendees to uh 
move around instead of just fixing that on one places. Then having said that also, that is a call online with the uh, schedules or sessions. We try to um, change the, uh, the, the topics of the uh, categories on the rooms instead of that one category is fixed on the second floor. So we move around on it also in, in a way just to also drive the traffic uh, for people to uh, um, uh, walk around the SEC so that they can engage the sponsors, to meet up with other attendees, to just communi um, communicate and just be social. So this time we're going to have a room dedicated for uh, um, for some activities. So um, we're still discussing some of the activities now. And one thing we're, we might have is the networking sessions so that people can go into the room and exchange their business cards and so on. Yeah, we're trying to uh, make, to come up with some uh, small, small activities in those dedicated rooms. Yeah, I really like that idea of, especially the networking part of it, um, having different places where you can uh, do the different things. So, uh, and I, I, I don't know if you actually ever get a chance to listen to the speakers, have the time. I'm guessing you probably are pretty busy, but can you give us some, give us a little insights on, you know, what we can expect uh, from the speakers and what's happening there? Uh, having, I mean, having a, 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 a opportunities to sit inside, to listen, to catch up with uh, the uh, those uh, speakers coming from their own, flying from the other part of the world, coming to share with us. I think that's a very, very, very good opportunity because not many people will be able to join the flagship in their, like, the WorldCamp Europe and WorldCamp US. That's why also I, I think we brought the WorldCamp flagship to the Asia and we have the first one last year in Bangkok. So, I mean, personally, I would recommend that uh, the attendees that came, I mean, join us for this year, just sit in and then uh, listen to the favorite speakers. And although, I mean, like, some of us may not be able to join, then we also be live streaming the entire sessions uh, to the work. Yeah, so, yeah, so everyone can, can feel it and enjoy the sessions together. <laughs> And speaking of the speakers, uh, this um, I think from this to encourage local speakers to join. So we also uh, we also choose some some local speakers who we think the topics might might uh, might be interesting. So please um, come and cheer our local speakers up. What about the first time attendee, especially to a large word camp? Any words of wisdom? you can share with them. I mean, some people are a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I, I found that, you know, from attending last year, everyone was so gracious and opened arm that it's like you could talk to anybody anywhere, no matter if they were, you know, supposedly the big WordPress person or not. Any, anything, you know, a tip or a little bit of advice for that first time attendee to make them a little bit more comfortable as a, you know, join this community? Yeah, uh, I think the the first thing is uh, come early and get your badge. So, yeah, so to avoid the traffic because uh, during the first day, most of the attendees will just uh, come in and then uh, the queue. Well, we have uh, new uh, vendors also coming in this year. So hopefully we will have a better sign-in, check-in this year versus... Uh, 2023, because we, I mean, as you mentioned, we keep on improving for each flagship, learning from the past experience. So uh, the tips is, uh, I think, try to check, because it's an in-person event, it's very different from all the virtual events that we have. So uh, engage with the uh, communities, the friends uh, that previously you have maybe check, have a chat in the WordPress the Slack. Then... Visit the sponsors because uh, those are the sponsors or plugins or teams or solutions that you use. Probably you have in a chat with them in the live chats or emails. So they are here, presently, physically here. Visit their booth, exchange I mean, uh, feedbacks or your thoughts of how you use their products. Yeah. Then 
for the speakers also. As you bump into them, have a photo with them. Yeah, and yeah, that, that's what uh, I need to think of. I would say, yeah, try to chat with people. Try to chat with people because um, you, like, like you mentioned, uh, it's, a play, it's a chance that you can meet you can meet all your plugins or things develop, developing companies in the menu. And also, um, if you don't, if you, if you feel that, if you feel the atmosphere in the venue is kind of um, tense or like uh, if you feel nervous, well, look forward to the after party because it's a place you can have casual talks with everybody. And this time, I um, personally, I would say our after party venue is going to be awesome. And it's, I'm personally, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. So after party, you, you brought it up and you're not getting away with telling us more about that. I know that Devin, she's probably, if I hadn't asked, she would be, I can see her smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to tell us more. Okay. After party, tell us about the after party. So for after party, this time we're going to have like uh, different areas for different themes. And yeah, so because just like uh, back to Bangkok, we like people gather for for different types of gathering. Like some people like to dance in the center of the uh, menu and some people just enjoy their drinks in the, in the other side. So um, this time we are trying to differentiate different kinds of people for different purposes. And um, also this venue is um, kind of, it's heavily, it's heavily open. So you, um, our attendees can also build connections with other people in Taiwan, like other local people outside the venue because it's, it's um, heavily open. So, so yeah, if you, if you think, yeah, if you think, Okay, I want to change some atmosphere. You can just hop into a local, a local, um, local vendor like the local. Um, how do you call that? Um, get some local food outside, local food shop outside the venue. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, sounds like the best of all worlds because I know as many after parties I've been to, and I did love it last year because. I could enjoy the music, then I could go down the other end and actually visit with people and hear the conversation and stuff. So being able to have that different areas that you can go to for whatever mood. And I like how you're integrating the local culture with it too. So if you just, you're like, okay, I just need a break. I want to go over to this little shop or this little, you know, whatever vendor is nearby, you can experience that and then you can go back in and do your thing. So uh, that's fantastic. I, I love hearing that. So now on another side of this, I know on the site, you've talked a lot about getting there, traveling, things that people should be prepared for. Is there anything you want to kind of revisit and highlight as far as people traveling to Taipei? I think the most important part will be the documents. So if you are from the visa exempted countries, it's fine. But for people who need visa, uh, please be, be aware of the visa. And also, there is another um, there is another law in Taiwan that uh, pork pork products are is prohibited in Taiwan for importing. So um, please. Um, Please be aware that do not bring anything um, pork, any pork things like um, sausage or ham. I mean, you're you're coming you're coming to Taiwan, so just try to enjoy our food. Yeah, you don't have to bring That's your the whole own. point yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you really. don't have to bring your own. <laughs> and yeah, the food is pretty affordable in Taiwan. Taiwan sausages is very famous. And yeah, we we have some some of the the import regulations, but I think the most the the most important thing to highlight is the pork because it's strictly prohibited. So that's really good to know. And next thing you you said there's a lot of great food to eat there. We don't need to bring our own food. So how do we get around to 
try out all this great food? You know, what's what's the transportation options for for everyone? So um, for Metro, um, I think travelers can buy a one day card for the Metro. You can just hop in and hop out for the most of the Metro stations. And I think the Metro system in Taipei is pretty convenient. So you can go to any places you want to visit in Taipei City with Metro system. And um, as for the as for the bus, um, you can also you can also um, look up on Google Map because it's pretty it's pretty well connected. And if you want to if you want to call a cab, um, in Taiwan we use Uber rather than Grab. In Taiwan we use Uber. So yeah, um, be prepared with your Uber app. And if you are if you are a bicycle lover, we have we have a service called U Bike. You can register in advance, and you can you can rent a bike in Taipei City, and it's really affordable. I think the first um, the first thirty minute would cost you five Taiwan dollars, which uh, is like I think well, it's like zero point one. Big U.S. dollar, kind of. Yeah, it's pretty affordable. That's great. It sounds like there's plenty of options. I don't know if anybody wants to deal with me riding around on a bike, <laughs> but hey, you know, it's it's good that there's uh, the different ways to get around. Let's talk a little bit about the organizers, the organizing team. You know, how many of you are there? Yeah, you know, just give us a little bit more around the organizing team yeah so uh this year's we have total about 47 of us uh co-organizing events so in between there are some people because of the commitment so they left but we also on board there are some folks that join us as well so up until today we have about 47 of them joining us and uh the teams are uh, comprised. Uh, this year, the changes we have uh, done is that we kind of like change the names of the uh, speakers team to the program teams because we thought about like uh, uh, speaker team is kind of like uh, the names kind of, kind of like can be better by with the program because of the schedules and etc. So that's why actually the change uh, is there. Uh, the other uh, new changes actually we brought in is uh, we form the operation teams. So the operation team actually they took over the the items like the uh, uh, tickets registrations, then others the we also also we talked about the uh, and on the actual event by itself, uh, we need folks that actually know uh, most of the stuff in the uh, in the in the DICC conference. So when something goes wrong in the either the uh, main stage or the food goes wrong, registration goes wrong, sponsors need some information, where do we find all those pieces? So the operation teams, they, 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 they are the big folks that actually uh, 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 helps to uh, gather all these and answer questions. Because the uh, local teams, if uh, we are just relying on just one or two persons, it may not be sufficient. Example, like Eric will be running here and there. He cannot be on the stage. At the same time, he also at the sponsor area taking care of some of those logistic issues. Yeah. Cool. And what countries are actually represented by the organizing team? Yeah, we have folks from uh, India, uh, Malaysia, Australia, Philippines, Nepal, Bangladesh, Japan, uh, Singapore. Uh, what else? Uh, let me think. Uh, uh, India, yeah, Taiwan. I think uh, one one. I think there is one more difference between this one, this work camp Asia and Bangkok is that we try to separate our local team members into each global team. There are four team members, yeah, and they are um, including including the other global lead, uh, local lead Yuli. Um, there are four dedicated four dedicated um, local team members and the rest um, the rest of them support each team. Yeah, I think the uh, one, one thing to add is uh, the entire event is uh, just not the organizing uh, team members. It's also being supported by uh, the volunteers that join us. So 
uh, without them, actually, the organizing committee uh, members is just not sufficient resources on the ground on the event itself to make all these events happen. So, yeah, so it's very important because the I mean, the, it's, it come, it comes from a, like what everybody mentioned is a strong communities. So, uh, we love to see everyone. So, uh, organizing, uh, I mean, all, all the organizers we have a uh, shirts. Uh, so recognize us, then just came and say hi, as David said. So um, I think I want to share an important concept this time, um, because this is from um, the whole local lead. So um, an important concept of this for Camp Asia is experiment. So try to try to make new friends. It's also kind of experiment and try to explore the venue, try to explore our um, sponsors and other, try to build friendship with different people. It's, um, I think it's also, this is also uh, important in the community. We keep improving, we keep trying new experiments, we explore new things. And I, I think, I hope we can bring this kind of um, atmosphere to all our attendees. All righty. Well, this has been fantastic. It makes me even more excited now talking to the two of you about everything that's going on. And yes, everybody out there, um, if you're going to be at WordCamp Asia, find one of us, say hi, hang out a bit, go to the party. Uh, just, yeah, overall, just have a fantastic time. And want to thank Devin for pulling this together. And for both of you joining us, it's um, been an absolute pleasure. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fahid. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Devin. See you in Taipei. Thank you so much. See you.